Greetings and welcome to another Lessons with Odin. On this episode, I will be showing you how to make these strange but adorable little earring bits. I made these using the components that I got over at Enbeads. I'm sure you've seen other things that I've done with them. Um, there will be links to the unboxing video that I did, as well as a couple of epic sagas where I did some bead embroidery. I've been getting a really good kick of bead embroidery lately, and I think it's very fun. And I also got a cutting machine, which makes it so much easier! But in any case, I will be showing you how to make these. I think this is a good year for semi-instant gratification. I wanted to make a very simple design so that y'all can have something shiny immediately in the new year because y'all deserve it after all of this crap that we are dealing with. But in any case, so for this project, you will need, for each earring, you will need a 6 by 4 millimeter rondelle five two by three millimeter rondelles, a dangly part, size 15 seed beads and size 11 seed beads, whatever finding you're going to use to hang it up on, and of course your needle and thread. I am using a size 12 needle with 1G. Very simple, very quick. And with all that being said, let us get started. Alright, the first thing we are going to do is take our largest rondelle and stick it through. Leaving a decently sized tail so that we can complete the bottom half with this. But other than that, unless you want to travel all the way down and use the same thread. It's all up to you. You are going to add on 11 size 15 seed beads and pass right back through the giant rondelle. Gonna kinda hold it so that your tail end doesn't go everywhere. Gonna pass up through all of those seed beads so that we meet the tail end. Tie an overhand knot with your tail and your working thread so we don't have to worry about it coming loose. And I do not fucks with stop beads. Pass back through the rondelle we are going to pick up four of these size 15s, add on a 15, a small rondelle, and a 15. Pass back through those four beads again. So that kind of sits over there. Pick up three more size 15s, add a size 15 and a small rondelle, then go back down through the previous single size 15 next to the rondelle. Go back through the three size 15s. Go through the last four size 15s. Pick up a size 15 and a rondelle, then pass back through the previous rondelle next to the one that you started from. I don't know if that made any sense, but you can see what I'm doing. No kittens! Squeak. Yes, you're cute. We are going to then go back down through we are then going to go back down through the last four size 15s. Going to go up through the size 15 next to the rondelle. Going to add on two size 15s, a size 11, two size 15s. Skip over the rondelle and go down through the size 15 in between. Pick up the three size 15 seed beads underneath the second center rondelle. Go up the single size 15 in between the center and the last rondelle. Two 15s, 11, two 15s. Go back down through the size 15 in between the first and the center. And we're going to travel right through the next rondelle. Going to cheat a little bit and go up. 
the single size 15 that's in between the center and the last roundel. Two 15s, 11, two 15s. Skip over the last roundel and go through size 15 seed beads beneath it. Now we're going to go down and travel through four size 15s from the bottom row. Add on two size 11 beads. Jump across three size 15s in the center. Then go through the last four size 15s. And these will rest the size 11s on top of the rondelle. From here, I'm going to travel up through three size 15s. Pop the point by skipping the size 11 in the center. So go through the three size 15s, skipping over the 11. So that makes a nice little peak. We are going to go through the next rondelle. Up through three size 15s. Skip the size 11 to pass the to pop the point through the next three size 15s. Go back through the rondelle, and I'm going to start adding my bail here, so I am going to go up through the three size 15s, then the 11, so that I end up in the center. And I'm going to add a pattern of a size 15, 11, size 15, 11, size 15, 11, and finally a size 15. Seven beads total with three 11s and four size 15s. I'm going to pass back through the size 11 bead. And I'm going to pop the size 11s by passing through the first size 15. Skipping over the 11, passing through the next size 15. And that point will pop. Skip over the 11, pass through the next size 15. The 11 has popped, skip over the final size 15 and pass through the size 11 that we started from. Gonna make sure the thread is underneath. Pull tight, and that is your bail. Going to go down three size 15s again, through the center rondelle, up through the size 15 in between the second and the last rondelle, pass through the two size 15s that were on the flap above the third rondelle, pop the point by skipping the center bead, and going down the next three size 15s. One last finishing touch, go up through the next four size 15s on the very bottom row, Go through one of the size 11s in the center. Add one size 15 through the next size 11 so that it wedges in between. Go down the last set of four size 15s. If you have a long enough tail, you can end your working thread and put your needle onto the tail. If not, just continue by going through the rondelle, the biggin rondelle. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to be safe and use the long one. I am then going to add three size 15s, a small rondelle, three size 15s, pass back through the rondelle so that they wrap around. Then I'm going to move around again, passing through the three size 15s, the small rondelle. Go back through the next size 15s. Add on a size 15, a size 11, and a size 15. And we're going to pick up the size 15s over the gap of the on top of the rondelles. Not the strand that's in the front, but the ones that are in the back. And it'll kind of stick out like that. Then we'll migrate all the way around to the opposite side. And stop at the size 11 at the third point. 
if you have too many threads coming from the size 15 in between the rondelles and you're afraid of snapping the threads, you can cheat just by going directly down through 2, up through 2, down without even touching the size 15 rondelle, uh, the size 15 next to the rondelle. Alright, and from that size 11, we're going to go down through the three size 15s on the opposite side at a size 15, 11, 15, and then go back down through the three size 15s that are on the bottom of the large rondelle. Looks kind of funky at this point. It's up to you if you want to keep it like this, or you can straighten them out a little bit by popping the 11s there. So I'm going to go back around through the rondelle, through the four size 15 seed beads, skip over the 11, go up through three size 15s, so that it sticks out a little bit, wrap your way all the way around and pop this point, and then keep going and continue on until you've reached the center rondelle on the bottom. Alright, next you're going to come out of that center rondelle. I'm going to add two size 15s, 11, two size 15s, pass back through the rondelle, and we're going to pop the center 11 so that it sticks out like that and back through the rondelle. Then we're going to go back up through the size 11, going up through two size 15s. Going to add two size 15s, a rondelle, two size 15s, and pass back through that size 11. Going to go down the two size 15s on one side, back through the rondelle, two size 15s, 11, two size 15s, back through the rondelle. We are going to pop the point, ending up coming out of the size 15, going to add one size 11, pass up through the next two size 15s so that the 11 fills that gap. Going to pop the point of the back row by skipping over the size 11 and going through the next two size 15s. Add on a size 11. Pass through the two size 15s and come out through the size 11. Now, this little component right here would be adorable as a chain, just a bunch of these little rondelles all up in a bracelet with maybe some sort of focal piece, or not. Could also work as a nice embellished uh, necklace chain instead of using some, uh, if you have like a larger focal piece or something along those lines, and you want something a little sturdier, thicker to, to hang it on, and you're sick of right angle weave, this is a good option. Next, I'm going to add a size 15, 11, size 15, my dangly part, size 15, 11, size 15, pull that down, go back through the size 11 all the way at the bottom. Then we're going to pop those 11s. So I'm going to go through the first 15, skip over the 11, pass through the 15 and the dangly part. Make sure everything is nice and secure. Go through the next 15. Skip over the 11 and pass through the next size 15 and the size 11 in the center. Then you can end your threads and add your earring finding or whatever you choose. And then you will have your finished pieces. Super quick, nice little adornment shadiness and lots of room for techniques and other tidbits and I really liked how these color combinations combined I like the little periwinkle with here and I don't know it still has an appropriate amount of pointy bits so it gets an A plus for me but let me know what you thought in the comments down below and if you make these feel free to share them up in our discord group where everybody is a nice community there, and we share all of our ideas and our projects and everything that we've made there. There will be a link in the description down below for Discord. 
And be sure to check out NBeads if you want to know all the components that I got from there. And they got some reasonable prices on seed beads and stuff, so I highly recommend you check them out. Also a link down below for that. And thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are awesome, and you help me keep this channel functional. So I appreciate each and every one of you. If you would like to get extra tutorials once per month, feel free to join me on Patreon, patreon.com slash odinsmusings, or you can even join me right here on YouTube using the Join tab, the little button down below, where you can sign up just on YouTube without having to sign up on an extra website. All up to you. Either way, I welcome you there. And with all that being said, be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Check out all of my other social medias in the description down below. Come say hi to me and be like, Hey Odin, look what I made. Because I really love to see what y'all do. And thank y'all so much for being here. And of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to let me know down below. And I will see you next time.